Today we're ranking the best foods from Good Mythical Morning. If you've been watching Mythical Kitchen for the last couple years, you will know that we have taken it upon ourselves to take two young hotshot YouTubers under our wing. They're called Red and Link, and they host a show <laughs> called Good Mythical Morning like, that we also cook food for. And today, y'all will be cooking the best three dishes we've made for Good Mythical Morning in the last month, and I will rank them. You think you got what it takes? Yeah, I think to, so. To you're gonna continue love it. to mentor underprivileged YouTubers, Rhett and Link. You're Those young, you're gonna like it. So they're, young, we gotta, we gotta take care of them. They're good kids. They just have no direction. Hey baddies, it's me Nicole, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this delicious chicken dish from Georgia. This, not the state, but the actual. What do you call things that are not states, and not, and not like uh, capitals? Country? Countries, that's what it is. From the country of Georgia, uh, this dish is called shkrimuli or shkrimuli, depending on what YouTube video you saw on how to learn it. Good gosh, look at that. It smells incredible. Saucy chicken thigh. <laughs> and then you got some bread and there's some white in the world. Mmm. So we have these uh, gorgeous chicken parts. We got some thighs, we got some drumsticks, we got some breasts, and we're going to get them nice and fried in some clarified butter. I'm gonna start with some AP flour and some white rice flour. This dish is very simple, but I think that's the beauty of it. You know, it's a very simple, delicious dish that creates a really gorgeous special flavor with just a few ingredients. And then get this here clarified butter going. Who's your favorite Georgian Olympic weightlifter? I don't have one. Mine's Lasha Talapadze. So you can see our chicken has browned just gorgeously. So we're gonna remove this. This chicken is not fully cooked, by the way. It is very much raw inside. But you're trying to get that really gorgeous, stunning browning so it can add to some gorgeous flavor and that nice Maillard reaction we all know and love. So, I got some more clarified butter hanging out in here. And I get to use my favorite kitchen tool of all time, the Mensa Luna. If you know, you know. I, this is my favorite. If I could be any kitchen tool, I think I would be a Mensa Luna because look, guys, look, check it out. You get it? So, so we got our garlic nice and minced. I just I could met Saluna all day, you guys. If you could just, if, okay, I have a great idea. You know how like we want to be on like TikTok Live and stuff? What if I just met Saluna things that people would say? Like, it's like, it's like that girl. What was that one girl? Uh, freaky doll? S sweetie pinky doll? doll? It's like, imagine Pinky doll. <laughs> but you tell me what you want me to met Saluna and I'm just like doing this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? <laughs> I think we'd make a lot of money. Am I wrong? So I'm just gonna get this perfuming in here ever so gently. And then we're gonna add this really special ingredient. I like to call this Georgian garam masala. It's called Khumeli Suneli, which is basically a Georgian spice blend. It always contains, I believe, um, savory, blue fenugreek, mint, and a coriander, but no two Khumeli Sunelis are alike. Add a little bit of salt salt, and then stream in my milk. Okay. Now this is gonna reduce ever so slightly. Hey, do you guys love Sporked? Do you love frozen foods? Well, guess what? Sporked just came out with an incredible ranking of the best frozen foods you can get. It's got lasagna on there. It's got P.F. Chang's frozen dishes on there. Go check it out. It's quite wonderful. All right, so we can see our chicken is bubbling away. It has thickened and almost curdled in a really pleasant way. I would never say milk has curdled in a pleasant way, but in this case, it has. All of the chicken juices, all those bones have soaked into the sauce. Mm. Wow, that spice blend is so unique and so flavorful. It really is a Georgian garam masala. It is phenomenal. So we're just gonna take our chicken bits and plate it on this gorgeous plate. Assemble this nice and pr prettily, in a nice prettily fashion. And there you have it, the most gorgeous chicken dish I've ever seen in my life. Josh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this. I already do. You're here? Hey. Have you been here the whole time? I like to watch. <laughs> Number one subscriber on the Metzalina TikTok channel, this guy. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato. Oh shit, okay. Five second rule, five second rule. 
I am making an elevated animal style in and out fry. We did an episode on GMM where we made like regular foods fancy and did like fine dining. It was probably one of my favorite episodes that we've ever done. Oh, it's pickly. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, 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 that is, that is excellent. He, well. <laughs> I'm gonna start by making a potato pave. So I'm mandolin these beautiful Yukons. One of them did fall on the floor, but that's okay. Five second rule. And I'm getting them really nice and thin here. Pave actually means um, like pave in French. And then over here we have some butter and I'm gonna make a caramelized onion jam. My in and out order is always like a cheeseburger with raw onions, caramelized onions, um, a regular fry, diet lemonade. So if anyone wants to buy me in and out um, we have all these onions here. It looks like a lot, but it's gonna amount to like one tablespoon. So we're gonna put these in here. I love caramelized onions. Like French onion soup is probably one of my favorite soups. It's just like so simple, um, so sweet, and you really just let the time do the work. And I think in a lot of like fancy food, it's just time that you need. Like same thing for this. The reason that this is like fancy and you're not making potato pave at home is because it just takes a lot of time. Like a lasagna. So we have a loaf pan here and I have melted butter and duck fat. And we're just gonna take these thin potatoes and we're gonna start to layer them on here. Like so. But yeah, for the that episode, it was like the first time that we did something like that. So we literally set up like a mini kitchen on set. It was really crazy. We were working in the dark. We were using our iPhone lights to um, cook. It was a little bit crazy, but super fun. Um, I'm adding a little brown sugar to this to add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit more salt to get the onion sweating. And then we have some white balsamic. I really love this ingredient. Not a lot of people have this, but it has like, it tastes like balsamic, but it's a little bit sweeter in my opinion. Um, and if you don't wanna like color your, whatever you're seasoning with like that black balsamic vinegar, this is a great option. So we're gonna add a little bit of that in there. We're gonna come back over here and we have this, I have rice over here because it's a great like weight to weigh it down when you're baking. You want a nice like even layer. So when I'm finishing layering the potatoes after like an hour, cause I'm slow, I'm gonna wrap the parchment over here and I'm gonna put this on top. I'm gonna bake it um, for a couple hours and then it's gonna be nice and tender. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge overnight and then we'll be right back. Okay, so next I am going to make the famous spread, um, but I'm gonna make it fancy. So I'm gonna make a hollandaise, but make it taste like the spread that you get at In-N-Out. Um, but I want this to be hot and I didn't wanna mix like hot mayo and ketchup together. <laughs> um, and then this is just some sweet pickle juice. And then we have some ketchup. And the hollandaise, like the clarified butter, is pretty much acting as my mayo, rather than putting like just straight mayo in there. This is a little bit of sugar. Um, and then I'm going to add this to our fancy ISI. This is my one of my favorite tools as well. Um, this just gets it nice and, oh gosh, it gets it nice and foamy. So we're just gonna pour it in here. And then these are the little charges that get it to the, the foamy state. Um, I learned to use these in like culinary school and they have this like little red tab and these are super important to have in here because if you don't have it in there, like sometimes it explodes and it's really scary and traumatic. So we're gonna put this on here, this, and then you have your little cartridge in there and then you have to like do this, put it upside down and then kind of, you can hear it. Wait for the sound, wait for the sound. Yeah. So I like to give it a little shake and then see where it's at. And then if it's not like super foamy, then you can add another charger. So just spray it on this. Okay, so you can see the color change. Um, that looks like the original in and out 
foam. So I did want it to be a little bit darker with the ketchup. We're gonna come over here. We have some hot sunflower oil because that's the oil that In-N-Out uses. I want it to be authentic. It's around 350, 375. These are the result of our potato pave. So these have been cut and then frozen. You can't see the layers in it yet, but once I fry them off, you'll be able to see. So we'll just do like three for now, just to test it out. Hear that sizzle. Ah, okay. I'm gonna back away. It had little ice crystals on it, so. Ice and oil, it's a great combo. Everyone should try it. Okay, look how pretty. See, it doesn't take that long. You can see like the layers in here, all those crispy layers. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fry a few more of these up and then we'll plate it up. Ooh, whoopsie, I got a little stain on my shirt. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't wanna wear aprons because we thought our shirts were cool, but look what happens when we don't wear aprons. We get stuff on our shirt. Mine says, not my first tornado, and this is supposed to be Glenn Powell because it's from Twisters. Exciting. I think he's okay. I'm gonna make sure like all these layers are showing. When you're plating, you always go in um, on even numbers, keep the diner on their toes. And this is how I plated it for the episode as well. We're gonna do the foam in between, just like this. Okay. And then this is one of the ingredients that I was very proud of for this dish. It's a cured egg yolk, which you've probably seen them in like a lot of like Italian restaurants and things as a fancy ingredient. But I took American cheese slices that I bought from the deli at your local supermarket and I dehydrated them to make American cheese powder. And then I combined it with salt and then I made American cheese cured egg yolks. So we're gonna grate that over the top. But first we have our caramelized onions and you can kind of dot it around here, kind of next to the foams. Um, okay, there, that's that. This is just a Brunoise pickle. I'm gonna use my tweezers, cause I'm fancy. My tweezers are not working. I think I'm just gonna like sprinkle this over. We'll do little blobs like this. Um, and then we just have some minced chives that we can sprinkle over the top. Like this. And then my favorite ingredient, like I said, Nicole in this episode um, brought this out table side and she was microplaning this over. And then so you can just put a bunch of this. And it has a very like, cured egg yolks already have like a cheesy taste to it, but this has cheese in it as well. So it's even cheesier. And there you have it. My elevated in and out animal style fries. What's up guys? Today I'm making, uh, it's actually a cheat meal for me cause I don't really like sweets that much, but I'm making a black garlic ice cream sandwich that I made for my cousins, Brett and Link. Uh, they're my cousins now cause Josh aged them down and they were dads, but now they, they that got taken away from them. Um, this is good. Dang, there's this nothing is... off-putting about it at all. I mean, this is like, when you get dare to do something stupid and it works out and then you think, oh, I'm just, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. You know, which is pretty much my high school yeah, career. Right. This was actually from the episode where we did the garlic versatility. And I made a whole bunch of like random things. Like this was the coolest one I made, but I made some garlic soda. I made some shells that just had way too much garlic in it. And their breasts probably stunk for about like eight days after that. Um, no regrets. Um, so we're just starting with the ice cream base right now, which is we have heavy cream milk. Um, there's a hell of sugar in there. We're gonna put a lot of white garlic. Ah. There we go. Make it nice and aromatic and stinky. And this room's gonna smell like the spaghetti factory in a second. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this vanilla bean. You probably can't see it. Taylor's about to get mad at me in a second. I have this vanilla bean. I'm gonna just like crack it open. Like I'm doing surgery. I gotta like get really low when I do things like this cause I just like can't see. Like I wear glasses and my vision is at like a negative to 6.75. Nicole's might be worse than mine. It's worse. Um, but we're both just blind sisters out here, so I have to like get really close to certain things so that I can do them properly. I gotta make sure I don't get it on my shirt. Let's talk about my shirt, right? Um, I don't remember where I got it. I probably stole it from somebody I'm dating. 
V, doesn't it look like we're kind of matching? Yeah, it looks like we run a mechanic shop that does nails and fixes Autobots at the same time. So I'm gonna just like slowly pour this in. I don't wanna like pour all of it in at the same time because it's gonna scramble my eggs and then it's just gonna be like some weird ass mixture. Swishing these eggs with my offhand. It's a little terrible, but it's okay. Just gonna keep doing this for a while. <laughs> you can watch me just, you know, hear the sounds. Just think, you know, you're at a spa, you're relaxing, you're in a jacuzzi. All of a sudden somebody just Yeah. What is going on? So we're just transforming and doing more spilling. Ah, oh my God, it was so smooth this time. <gasps> Boom! This is our ice cream base. We're gonna go ahead and let that chill while we make some cookies. This is black garlic. No, they are not little tiny rock pebbles as they look from far away. It's actual real garlic. <laughs> um, it's just aged. It's an aged bowl that people put into like a warm, moist environment. They let it sit for like about a couple of weeks, let it roast in there. And basically the process makes it black and it brings out all the sweetness and the natural flavors in it. And it, it turns into this beautiful, this beautiful creation. And we're gonna use that today to put into our cookies. And I have some softened butter that's in our stand mixer that I'm going to cream with some regular sugar. I'm gonna get this going already. I'm gonna throw in the white sugar in there. I have some brown, oh, there we go. I have some brown sugar that I'm gonna also add in there. Kinda let it just do its thing. So since this is creamy already, we're gonna go ahead and just add our eggs in there. That looks beautiful, that looks nice. It's doing things, I don't know if you can see it up there, but it is doing things, I promise. We're gonna add some vanilla. We're gonna add in some baking soda. Very nice. Got some salt. Very nice, it's coming together. Super nice and smooth. And then we're just gonna add the flour in there. <laughs> oh my God. That's so sexy. <laughs> it's like we're at Coachella. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and turn that off and take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't eat the cookie dough raw. Those people are weird to me. Like, don't do that. If it doesn't have eggs in it, then you can do that. But you know, it's nice and light, looks pretty. Ugh. Sexy. <laughs> All right, no, don't do that, V. Don't do that. Do it! Shh. Just do no, it! No, Nicole, my health is in danger. I'm gonna just like put this on the floor. All right. So now we have our cookie dough. Meh gonna mix that a little, and then we're gonna fold in our not chocolate chips, our very powdery, flour-filled <laughs> black garlic pieces. Just gonna throw a couple in there because we wanna save some for later for a little special treat. <laughs> gonna just fold those in nice and pretty, and then move that to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our scooper, make some ice cream looking cookies. <laughs> Onto our pan. I would say I'll make like four, cause you know you want cookies on both sides. All right, got these. Eh, put one more. Why not? And then we're gonna bake these off. Oh, I forgot that was at my feet. <laughs> we're gonna bake these off so they can be ready. And while that's in there, I still have my cool down ice cream mix that I'm gonna put in this machine. Yeah, real nice, real nice. This is the ice cream maker, if you didn't know. We bought it on the Amazon. It could also be from Target. They sell it there too, I think. There's a lot of little chunky pieces in there. I, we freaked out at first, cause I thought it was just like something curdling, but it's garlic. Don't be scared. Just throw all those extra bits in there. Put that in there. It, it, wait, wait. Okay. We're gonna let that go. And then we will assemble our cookies. This is our finished ice cream. It's nice and beautiful and creamy and it looks amazing. I'm gonna grab my scooper, plop it onto my sandwich. I'm actually gonna put this down because the last time I did that, I broke the cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna like press this down. Nice, I'm gonna, my hands are clean, I promise. Put a little bit more ice cream on this side, make it nice, make it sexy. Boom, boom. We're gonna get the other side. 
You just kind of just plop it on top. Don't break your cookie. You might. I lick my finger. I shouldn't have did that. All right, so I'm gonna kind of just smooth out the last part. This is not gonna be like super pretty because it eventually will go back in the freezer to kind of set a little bit. So it's gonna look like a, a nice chip witch. That's what they're called, right? The little frozen ones that the ice cream man sells. Oh my God, business plan. Hear me out, right? You just make, get an ice cream truck. You make all elevated desserts, like all your childhood favorites, like this one. What was the, sh the strawberry shortcake bar? You just make all elevated versions of that and just sell them. Oh. If I decide to not be on this school anymore, I'm gonna just open an ice cream truck. But it's starting to melt. So I'm gonna throw this back in the freezer. But that, my friends, is what a finished black garlic ice cream sandwich looks like. Okay, Lily, you have made a lovely potato pavé yeah. inspired by Animal Out Animal Style Fries. Nicole, you have made Martin Shkreli chicken from Georgia. And V, you have given me a not so subtle hint that I need to drop a few pounds. And you know what? I've been doing my cardio. Yeah. All right. I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm very confused and I do love that. Um, this is rad. Potato pave is one of those things that I used to cook to impress girls when I was younger because I thought that I wasn't enough and that I needed fancy food tricks. Did it work? Oh, Been there. I, yeah, but then securities. ultimately I, I, you know, got some long-term damage for myself uh, and self-esteem. Were we supposed to explain the dish? Or are you just gonna eat? Dude, that rules. You like it? Wait, I wanna get more of that. Oh, yeah. It broke, the emulsification broke a little bit. You're talking a lot about how no the ketchup doesn't know. break the emulsification. You know. Dude, that's so good. It, it does taste like an animal style fry, but this is a really excellent dish. This could have been on like a fancy menu in like 2007 when everything was like a fun, clever riff on a fast food thing. A little outdated. Such a neg. Yeah, no, that, uh, that's not a neg, that's when food peaks. Nicole, tell me about your Martin Shkreli chicken. Um, this is Georgian milk chicken with garlic. You got Eat any Georgian it. milk hot sauce? No Georgian milk that's hot cool. sauce. Dude, this is just, the milk does curdle, but curdled milk is like a valid ingredient. It's pleasant, yeah, it's yeah, a like pleasant curdling. That, what's that thing that the Italians, they boil a pig in its own milk or whatever? My latte. My ale a latte. Yeah. That sounds interesting. <laughs> um, tastes like tastes like the old country. Right. Which um, one? Tastes like the country where they invented poetry. They invented wine. Poetry? Never conquered. They joined the Soviets, sure. Putin tried to conquer them multiple times. Georgia said, nope. Canada? They had the strength. Of this. Yeah, Putin tried to conquer Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia, the Republic of Georgia, where Lasha Talakadze is from. You can just finish it. Yeah, it's okay, you can just, yeah. No problem. This sound is Enjoy. severe. That's good. No, you're almost done. You got about like four more bites? Yeah, you okay. got it. You know, this good. is how you eat Keep going. over the trash can. <laughs> yeah, we're still here. Where are you going? Huh? Josh. <laughs> Josh, there's more to do. There's one more dish to judge. He's Dad, starting to eat so over the trash. That I have to eat like I'm at home over the trash can. It's like a ratatouille moment. Yeah. yeah. Over the trash can? Oh yeah. With your jorts on the trash can. God oh, damn. God oh, damn. I don't know. I think he liked it. I think he liked it. Freeze! <laughs> Freeze frame! <laughs> Dude, that's so good. It's the aromatic spices and then the milk turns into a thing to eat with a fork. I know it's so I like good. fork milk. Oh shoot! Oh, do I have to? Yeah. <laughs> That's dessert. Okay, black garlic. It can. It can, can I cut it in half? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're <laughs> taking the hospitality out of the hospitality industry. <laughs> oh, my face is so cold. It is really good. It's like yeah. it's a really well done chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Still thinking about the chicken. That chicken got me in a chick hold, man. That's not like, a yeah. chick hold. This is a really well constructed ice cream sandwich. The the black garlic, it's it's so sweet, it's so jammy. I don't even love chocolate chip cookies, and so like might as well put black garlic in it. <laughs> I told you. It's not something I want to eat more than like twice. Mm -hmm. But that first time you're like, damn, and that second time you're like, eh, and then the third time you're like, yeah, I probably just want to eat a normal. Ice cream sandwich, but like, nah. as far as craft goes, yeah, that's excellent. These are all excellent. I know my, oh, I was gonna say I know oh, my winner, but that gonna... chicken, <sighs> getting all that Georgian milk chicken. I have my winner here, and I know what I'm, I'm picking here. Somebody give me a countdown. Somebody give me a little drum roll. 17, 16, 15, that's so 14, long. 13, 12 and a half, 11, 12, 9, 10, 10. 
Pick your winner. Lily's wins. I'm being like dead ass serious when I say like this type of food is what inspired me when I was like younger and like eating from restaurants. Like this is the type of stuff that genuinely still inspires me to this day. This absolutely rules. This should be on a menu somewhere. This I'm sure is on several Georgian restaurant menus and I want to go eat there with you. And then V, I this also would be on a menu somewhere, but I'd I'd look at the show, I'd be like, you're trying to like dial no. back a little bit, you know what I mean? You heard my business. Uh, thank you guys for feeding me. This is a delightful lunch. I'm eating all that chicken. Thank you all so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out. If you don't know by now, we got them out there. Just search them. You, people don't even watch them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh. You just watch it whenever. But we're gonna keep doing this, is what I'm saying. Because we like it, and I hope you like it too. We'll see you all next time. We make videos all the time, it's crazy. It's pretty fun. I don't know, man. What else would you guys rather do as a job? Nothing, I love my job. That's what I'm saying, this place kind of Eat rules. bonbons. Don't settle for any frozen meal, get the best. Head over to spork.com for their best frozen meals ranking.